Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 108. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. These people are family. Reintroduce yourselves to the audience. This is a, a Philly takeover. You know what I'm saying? This is not even an international Hype. This is a local joint. But let's reintroduce yeah, to the audience, gang. I mean, you know, it's not really local just to Philly because I am a native Washingtonian from DC. Uptown born and raised, no place better than. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna love you. But I am just being Mimi, aka Mimi the Goddess or Big Mish on the Life Be Life and Podcast. Y'all already know who it is, your favorite fat freckle man, Fat Barnes, aka Stephen Fat, saying your favorite coach's favorite coach. Um, nutmeg nah in the building <laughs> damn he called you nutmeg nah what is going on on this Man. show nah, i called himself <laughs> that on the episode i'm just giving him what he thought i, I made a joke show. and he been and he been running with it ever since i yeah, made a joke man. about basketball move and he has not let me live it down ever since <laughs> You do not. You're not gonna tell me you got a basketball move called the nutmeg. I refuse to believe. No, that's that. what they call it when the ball. No, when they, what you call when it when you throw between another nigga. Uh, that's what they I've call never it. heard that. I never knew that. I had never heard that. <laughs> well, you'd have been my co-host all this time. I never asked where the name came from. That's the exactly context right. is, is key. See, See, nah, they not say it wasn't Hoopers, you know what I'm saying? Hoopers, <laughs> terminology right there. I'm definitely a Hooper, but I never heard nobody call it that Not a professional Hooper that, that I know the terminology for that. <laughs> I, thought that I thought that was just a crossover. <laughs> Hold up, though. Introduce yourself to the, reintroduce yourself to the audience now. Come oh, on. my fault. I'm on here talking and shit. Uh, it's your boy, Big Dan, you know, of the Bridging the Gap podcast and also of uh, the Unrestricted podcast, which is also a YouTube show, which will be coming very, very, very soon. We've already got a few episodes locked in. You can catch us on all streaming platforms, you know what I'm saying? So we're around. Appreciate it coming back. Philly, you know, Philly's for Philly type shit. Copy that. Now, yo, comfortable? Let's get the rundown. Mondays, every Monday, E Block Radio Network at 2 o'clock, GFT Radio Network, 2 o'clock every Tuesday. And we go 216 to blend at 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. They love me over there. Then we go Friday, I say podcast radio network. They love me over there too. Every Friday, 10 a.m. THC Media, 10 a.m. every Monday. I mean, every Saturday. They love me over there too. I'm the international hype. You know, they love me all over. Um, <laughs> copy that. Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle Co. As you can see, the Air Hustle Ones. You know what I'm saying? On deck for those watching on the eBlock Radio Network. Uh, the sneaks are available in any color, up to 14 and down to the children's sizes. And the female sizes. We want to get you however you can get it. You know what I'm saying? I own the outfit. It's my new joint. We got the jerseys, the sweatsuits, the jackets. The spring jackets are now in. However you need it, we will customize it. Over at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, it's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. Roofing, plumbing, HVAC, flooring, carpeting, cleanups, cleanouts, and yes, we do remodels. So however you need that situation, we will get you tight over there at H2H Cleaning. Now, gang, are y'all ready? Shouts out to my folks. We had a scheduling oh, situation. Wait. We made the whole thing, you know what I'm saying, like gumbo, and we're going to make this one a classic. Episode 108. Now, paid talent like y'all, you know what I'm saying, can operate on the fly. We're going to go to Dan last on this one. We're definitely okay. starting with my man Nutmeg Nye. Where do you come up short? There's no way in life that we got as many hats as we have to wear. Uh, husband, father, son, friend. Like dad, coach, whatever the different, you know, hats that we have to wear, we got to be coming up short somewhere. Now, nah, where are you coming up short? At? I'm coming up short in time management and self care. Those are the two places I'm up short. Because, um, like you said, we got to get everything done and we got to get it done within 24 hours with everybody else. It's like, oh, I can, I can as best as I can. But because of my time management not being as good as it needs to be, not only do it be stuff left over to where I'm up late, you know, not getting prime hours of sleep, there's other things that I could be doing for self-care uh, that I should be doing, I should say, you know what I'm saying, to, to make myself more of a whole person. Because if you're more of a whole person, 
You know what I mean? If you're taking better care of yourself, you're more capable to get the things you need done. So uh, those two things kind of go hand in hand for me where I come up short. Big Mish. Uh, for me, uh, acknowledging, accepting, and expressing my feelings. Um, I've just got into the uh, realm of learning to set and enforce boundaries, but I still find it hard to kind of express to people what I need from them in order for those boundaries to be respected. And it, it just makes it very hard because I don't like seeming like I'm an emotional person or showing weakness because, you know, you're not supposed to be weak, have feelings, showing tears, cry. That's how I've been all my life. But here lately, I'm like, that's definitely a detriment to me. And I've been trying to work on it, but it's like probably the main area in which I fall short. So. Big Dan. Uh, for me, honestly, I would say it would be uh, just being a good family member, not as far as my immediate family, like my household, my wife and kids, but my, you know, all of the extended, extended families family. uh, because of the fact just simply, dog, I'm, I, you know, you know how it is, dog, we be busy. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. and when I say I'm, if it ain't 10 to 12 hours a day at the regular gig, then you got to put in time. You know, I got three kids, daughter getting ready to go to college and two small ones. Uh, so between putting that time in with them, making sure my wife is being held down and she getting her time, mm -hmm. all the making it to the cookouts and making it to the birthday parties and even just picking up the phone and checking on people, I'm definitely falling short when it comes to that. You know what I mean? But also it's like, you know, I'll be telling people like, you know, you got to respect my time. Like I got, I got a lot going on. Okay. So that's that's uh, that's definitely where I'm at. Let's not let's not gloss over my daughter's going to college. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey man, you know, hey, listen, man, you know, big, let's big, not big mention that, let's not mention that in passing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, we 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 looking at HBCUs, you know what I'm saying? Hey. She went on a she went on a on a five school tour uh two weeks ago. You know, we might be um Cheney, sorry, not doing that. Uh uh Howard, um H U. Uh, Norfolk, Norfolk, I believe it is. Norfolk State. Norfolk State. Norfolk State. Um, what was the other one? Uh, she went down to Spelman, and then I can't remember what the other one is, but she wasn't for that. Yeah. So right now it's a yeah. toss up between Norfolk and Spelman. That's what she. That's what she on right now. Well, this you know? is great. So this is what you I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to relay this message. Mm -hmm. Once she gets on campus, if she's pledging or if mm -hmm. she's not. And she gets in with some Kappas, some Vedas, Zeltas. Hey, listen, my, 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 my hey, shout, shout out to the Deltas. My niece just put, just went over to a Delta oh, now. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to them. I was at the little, the little joint. They were stepping and shit. You know yeah, they get hyper probates. They yeah, get, I took my, I took my. Look at uh, DSU. Hey, nah, it's like <laughs> I bought this up for a reason, ain't it? <laughs> Man, all right, you know. Once we all you know came, so we got them situations. You let them know that we are at Custom Hustle World, and yes, we take care of sororities and fraternities. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right, I got you. We, no we would love to get her and her line sisters together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, I got you. You already know. Good old jacket. I can plug it. I'm gonna plug it. <laughs> if anything, I, if anything, I get with you just to even get her line, get her lined up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotta be that, you know. We send you because off. I, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> them, them folks that's in them uh three letter organizations, they be serious about their little uh paraphernalia. My best friend's a Delta, and if I don't yeah. buy her elephants and Delta inspired crops yeah, and jewelry that, and all that, that, they, I'm they, like they, that elephant. Uh, they deep with it, boy. Listen, they deep with that in, elephant. Uh, My aunt a Delta. She been a Delta since '85. Her whole she crib, got number, elephants red and white elephant. And when I was younger, I was like, what the let's, fuck is up with the elephants? <laughs> like, let's, yeah. let's stay, let's stay on brand here. Go ahead, my we can't get all time. Let's, let's mm -hmm. have let's have the odds. That's and all your of them fault. Loaded. That's we your fault. At, we are at Custom Hustle World and we will get your deltas. <laughs> and just, hey, I got <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now, windbreakers, we got all that love. Mm -hmm. um, windbreakers. Now for me, uh I come up short is definitely with me. Um I'm that type of person who I always tell people my uncle and my dad died in unk died in October of 08. My dad died in September of 09. They was like the two guys in the family. So now it's like somebody needs to fill that void and nobody stepped up to the situation. It became me. So now that means when we got issues, when we got problems, when you got somebody need to be talked to, you got somebody who needs whatever, it's usually coming to me if they don't go to my mom. And I'm really trying to get everybody off my mom. So I'm right. trying to try to take a little bit of that 
so that she don't have to deal with that because she's been dealing with that forever. You will hear about that last week on episode 107. Um, but it's definitely me because my kids is my kids matter more than I do. And they absolutely have to get whatever it is that I can give them. And mm-hmm. that's on top of, you know, me, I, you hear the rundown in the beginning of the show. You know, I got a lot going on at all times. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I always tell my wife, uh, cause this is something that we're going to do in the future. Excuse me. It's about titles. The title of you being my wife holds so much weight that if you call me, the world stops. If I exactly. see two people that have pictures in my phone, it's my mom and my wife. If a picture pops up in my phone, I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing, the phone is getting answered. Mm-hmm. Because as, if anything comes out of this phone from either one of them, it don't matter who else I'm dealing with, unless it's time to pray. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I would definitely say I come last because, like Dan said, I'm kind of falling short now on the cookouts and the birthday parties and all of that, but that kind of really happened just from the shutdown situation. My wife mm-hmm. was pregnant when all of that happens, and my wife is still going to work. I'm still going to work. So it's like, we can't really be taking no chances at these love and marketing right there now with Life Be Life and Mug. Show that again for the listeners. <laughs> put it up, put it up. You can't really be, you know what I'm saying? Copy that. You can't really be in them situations where you're dealing with a pregnancy. And yeah, right. So yeah. you kind of go from like, oh, no, nah, y'all, we can't make it. No, nah, y'all, we can't make it. To now you on Instagram, like, oh, damn, I didn't know it was his birthday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. But yeah. something got to give in this situation. And I feel like I kind of made myself be the thing that gave. And it's kind of like I can't really even try to, like, it's the same thing we kind of all said was, like, you kind of got to find a way to balance it all and to still keep yourself in there. But it's really kind of hard, especially for a person like me who is always about how can I help everybody else in these situations. Because when I got a situation, it's like, I don't really trust that you to go to. <laughs> Yo, definitely understand that. Now, um, something that I need to know from everybody, spin it back around. What are we doing to work on those situations? How are we trying to alleviate those being the problems? Nah, I'll start with you. Um, well, I'm continuing, I'm continuing to see my therapist. Uh sometimes we just brainstorm some techniques to where I could, you know, kind of really find ways to focus on um like I said, time management, getting things down to a schedule. I uh, mean, you talked about that offline already, right? Like just kind of getting their routine set and locked in for the people in my life to the point where it's kind of like how Dan said, yo, you just got respect my time. I'm sorry. Your day's not Tuesday. Your day is Thursday. You know what I'm saying? And, and sticking to those kind of things to where I can still get that, you know, hour of myself to the day. Let's, you know, I have one of those days on now is going to set everything off because now I'm snapping and now, you know what I mean, uh, the avalanche, the snowball turns into an avalanche because I didn't take no time to reset myself. On top of that, I'm up I'm up in my uh, physical activity, you know what I'm saying? So, and doing that, working out more a little bit is going to give me physically the more energy. So once my mental energy and my physical energy start up, and I feel like I'll be able to be, you know, an uh, even better version and do even more, but still be able to carve out that time I need for me. Copy that, Big Mish. Um, for me, it's learning to be more verbal about the feelings that I have, kind of like, you know, accepting them and connecting with them and not being worried about expressing the people, i.e., like if my sister says, hey, can you wash your kids for me? And I'm like, sure, but how long y'all going to be? Because I'm kind of tired and I don't want y'all to be at the gala till 11 o'clock. Can y'all even be home maybe by 10 o'clock? And just kind of be on less afraid of disappointing other people because people don't be afraid to disappoint me and again that comes in you know tune with setting the boundaries that I have in place in order to be comfortable enough for me to express myself and they not have you know certain feelings about it because I'm always the person that's like like you like you I'm looking out for everybody I'm taking care of everybody I'm trying to help everybody but then I'm pissed off because when I need help Nobody helps me, but I had to realize I'm not expressing the fact that I need help because I'm playing a strong role all the time. Yeah. Well, no, nah, so I was coming for you with this because, you know, <laughs> I'm listening. And this is something that you said on the podcast that was at Life Be Life on all streaming platforms. Uh, I'll throw that in there for y'all. This was something that you brought up on the podcast is, damn, we thought you was cooking. How come we thought you had the macaroni? I believe it was the macaroni, wasn't it? Or the potato salad mm-hmm. or something? You came in and you was just a guest. 
this is the thing that like Dan, this goes to what Dan was saying. Because this is something that I, this is why I recognized it when you said it, because it's something that's me too. Mm -hmm. Is set these boundaries and then you got to respect my boundaries and my time. Just like you said, nobody gives a fuck about inconveniencing you. They don't care about calling you 15 times. Yo, you're going to bring the macaroni, the ice, the sodas, the cake, and then is you going to make the double eggs when you get here. They don't care about inconveniencing (laughs) you and your whole situation, knowing that you got kids and a husband and all that to come with too. It's not just me coming. So you can't be trying to be like, I'm caring about you, but now I'm putting myself on a back burner because putting myself yeah. on a back burner puts me in a bad spot. So that was definitely something I heard you say. Mm-hmm. It is. Show. So when you and then the funny thing is, like, that's the light because bulb. I don't have kids. <laughs> that's why they think I got so much free time for them, and then I can just drop everything that I'm doing, rearrange my schedule, you know, not have an issue with them. Say oh, I'm gonna be home at nine, but being home at twelve, like. Yeah, I remember this whole blowout I almost had with my sister-in-law on 4th of July. Oh, could you watch the baby for a couple of hours? We're just going to go to this event down the street. A couple of hours turned into five hours. So then when I addressed her about it, she kind of was like a little attitudinal. And I was like, then I went off. And she had saw a side of me she had never seen. But that's me feeling like I was being overutilized and not appreciated and not you know respecting, respecting my, my boundaries, boundaries. Copy, so then mm-hmm. my feelings kind of like bubble to the surface and almost bubbled in a bad way so that's the problem I fall short with learning how to like recognize there's an issue there dealing with it in a moment instead of letting it just sit and fester and then more shit get piled on top of it but like you said it does come you know in tune with setting the boundaries making people respect them and enforcing them you know, because and I got shit going on that I want to be doing. So. And it ain't only making them respect the boundaries. You got to respect those boundaries when you set That's them. facts. That's you know what I'm saying? You can't have those expectations of everybody else to, to respect something that you're not respecting. If yeah. they see that, like, well, you let me get over for five hours when it was supposed to be two. So I see you ain't respecting it. Why am I respecting it? Yep. And that's what that's my like therapist always too. tells me. hmm Yep. When you they know, feel like, stay oh, for you don't say stay late today. Then they can count tomorrow. on you to stay late that day. It's not convenient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wena get on me about it all the time. She's like, well, you know, that's your fault. So I started to really realize, like, a lot of that's on me, you know, and it's all kind of intertwined. And I have to figure out, a, you know, set of circumstances that works best for me and just go with that. Because otherwise, I'm Taurus. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a see red and black out on people when I feel like I'm being disrespected. So I have to do better. Or about when that. you see red, you can also see it with black if you cop a pair of those custom hustles. Hey, that's yes, fine. He yes, he got now, that. <laughs> <laughs> my man, Big Dan, let's go, big fella. How are you, uh, how are you going about, you know what I'm saying, trying to make a couple of those birthday parties, dinners and such? <laughs> I'm keeping a bang with you. I'm not. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm keeping it listen. a bang. Look, hey, listen. listen. <laughs> I got, here's my thing. I got goals. I got, I, I got shit that I'm trying to do for me and mine. And half of the motherfuckers that, oh, that you know, soon as you can't, you miss a couple little joints as, oh, he acting new or this, that, and the mm-hmm. third. Or, you know what I mean? And my thing is this. I can't even get you to click the like button when I need you to. Like, you know what I mean, I can't even get you to appreciate hit up. You the, appreciate I you hitting the button. I can't, <laughs> right. get, I can't get a subscribe. You know what I'm saying? A follow. Oh, uh, I a can't share. get a, nothing. I can't even get you to listen to the you know what I mean. But then when I'm in your face, when you see me, is oh yeah, I saw your show. Or or they hit I saw I see you got your little show. Damn, I, I got my little show. You right. Little show. <laughs> yeah. As, as you know, every time on the How to Hustle podcast, we find we hear you got the little and nothing little about my situation. Never hey, describe it as such. Yeah. They can say what they want, but then when they see, well, then they go on my page they and they see Wallow, and they not see Wallow giving right me here. a shout out. Now it's oh damn, cuz you 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 got you you talk to Wallow. No, hey, no I one, don't. And but he gave him a shout out. <laughs> that's the one that that's the one that burns you out right there. As soon as they yeah, see man. you, know, they I, see you around some people when it's oh. Damn, cuz, oh yeah, no, I got to. Well, you should have checked it out three years ago, four years ago. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but I mean that. I you mean, know, you listen, know what I told you about that one, bro. The price of the my thing. My thing is prices, this. Not the price. I'm, I'm, I got something that I'm trying to do. I got stuff that I'm focused on, career wise, and just with my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm putting my all into that. When I'm done over here and everything set up and said and done, then y'all, you know, y'all can come around. Plus, my thing is this. You know where I live at. I don't, I, first of all, I'm not coming to, t- I'm too old. I'm 40. I'm not coming to you to the bar to come hang out with you. 
Right. I'm not so, coming to your party that's at the corner bar down the street that gets shot up every two weeks. I'm not anywhere that I feel as though my life is in danger. I'm not coming. Not coming. <laughs> I'm not coming. Really if, you're cook, if, you're cook, if your cookout is in a very <laughs> you know, location, I ain't coming. <laughs> I got shit to do. I got shit to get home to. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't gotta be somewhere where I gotta worry about stepping on somebody's sneaker. Uh, okay, because that's, oh that's a big thing. I mean, I saw somebody oh, today say how, you know, she was supposed to go to a party last night and then do brunch this morning. She was like, but after her day was done, she was like, I realized I was tired and I just decided I'm not going. She was like, Come I woke on. up this morning, had to drop my daughter off. Got my workout in right there because I didn't want to be too tired to not do it because I'm committed to it. She was like, and she was like, the girl was like, oh, we might not be able to meet at this time and at this place. And she was like, no, we don't got to meet at all. She was like, and she's okay with that. She was like, people got to be okay with the no. You got to be okay with telling people no. You got to be okay with And also, I'm not coming if you should start all late. (laughs) You got to get me out of the house at a certain time. Because, nigga, I'm going to be in the party start at 11. The party start at 11, where? (laughs) <laughs> 11 o'clock, I'm trying to be back in the house. <laughs> on the bed. Like, no. hey. Look, let me let me throw this in there because I definitely, I mean, you can't do nothing but respect. You know, I got my own family and I got goals and aspirations and things I'm trying to do for my family. You got to uh, wait because if you're doing, because if, if that was your lane and you had something going on, my all, all my shit is public. You know I got shit going on. If I, I'm going to support you from over here, do your thing. I respect that you can't make it. You got shit to do. That's me. Yeah. I, I ain't saying I ain't coming this. because I'm just sitting in the house and I don't fuck with you. I ain't coming because I'm either tired or I got something to do. Yeah. That's, you know, that's nah, it. that's why I said. That's why I said you can't do nothing but respect that. And if you can't respect that, that's because you don't have those responsibilities. Brother, you know how many times <laughs> I didn't got the I didn't got the you you acting brand new and I'm no, go, you, I'm, didn't, you didn't you didn't moved over there you acting funny and like I'm, go, I'm I'm getting you there, bro. I got you. <laughs> you got damn right. I'm acting brand new. With you. <laughs> 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 different <laughs> things to do. This is not 2004. It's not 2000. Hello. I'm not that same guy. Hello. Yeah. You got married, had kids. Or have been with somebody for all of these years and you still looking at life the same way that you were 15 years ago, 20 years ago, eight years ago, you wasting time. August the 6th is going to keep coming every year because your birthday is going to keep hitting. You're going to keep getting older. It don't mean you get no better. Oh, everybody, really? don't, everybody don't get better. Hey, everybody hi. can't go. This is <laughs> always the thing that you got to remember is we all can't go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... That's why I said from the beginning, I, you can't do nothing but respect if somebody, I got a, my family and this is what I'm trying to do for us to make sure my son and my daughter is equipped with this information versus yeah. me having the same conversation with you that we've been having. Exactly. Or like you said, I'm not sliding to the party that starts at 11 or is, oh, y'all going down there? Copy. I wish you happy birthday. I text you. Why you ain't saying it on Instagram? Because I got your phone number. <laughs> hey, you, hey, hi, you saw when, when we met up at that little situation and in a part of town that we don't usually hang out in, we was in and out, wasn't we? You, and, is you ready? And I'm about to say, and I left with you. Exactly. <laughs> is you ready? That's what you got to do. Because we can go. We want dick <laughs> together. So it's it don't time to go. Like, we got to um, get out of here. Uh, for, for me to answer this one, it would be the same thing where it was just like realizing that nobody gives a fuck about your time. So why do you continue to prioritize their time over yours? Yeah. when like the same situation like I can't tell you how many one of my cousins died she got sick and died and she was like the first one of our generation that passes so the year before she dies I go like we ain't had a family reunion in 15 years so I take the initiative to start calling everybody and just saying hey nah you bring in the hot dogs Dan you got the sausages Mish you bring the potato salad I'm gonna bring the charcoal and the fluid and like pass everybody off. I delegate everybody off something. Then I get there and I'm on the grill from 12 o'clock to about 9.30. Like <laughs> both times. So now we get to year three and niggas is like, we having a family reunion. I don't know, call Hank. Why are we calling Hank? Hank right. just showed you how easy yeah. this thing was. Yeah. But yeah. like I said, after I'm the one that's standing here cooking all of the damn food, bought most of the damn food, and now I'm the one in the house helping clean up. Like, yeah. this is yeah, not the situation. We expect you to do everything. 
but that's why this is something that I always say to my mom because like I said in the beginning I really be trying to get this stuff off my mom I always tell her you don't have to answer the phone and you can't say no yeah you had to take your own advice though in that situation where yes. I'm gonna answer the phone but I'm just I, I can't do nothing I can't I can't help you with that one I, or like all right yeah I got these two houses I'm about to clean you want some money we can go clean these joints I'll pay you to help me but other than that like I ain't just got nothing to give you like not at this yeah. point it took me a long time to realize you can't say no it took right. me a long time too, bro. But it's the thing hard. is, we got to you got to the point you where you know is yeah. a vocabulary that you can use because niggas use it with you all See, the time. And you, I'm, the problem, P two, when you ain't even the type that always asking nobody for nothing. I'm never. See, this is the, if all I yeah. ask you to do is bring the. If all I ask you to do is bring the ice and you frown, I'm cool. Guys. Look, <laughs> in my <laughs> instance, on both sides of my family, I'm the go-to guy. I was Damn. always the go-to guy for. We got to get it done. Now, I'm not the guy no more. Somebody else got to uh, pick up the slack. I did it. Like, I I, I can't. I did my time. What the lady, what the lady <laughs> say? Get somebody else to do it. Yeah. <laughs> somebody else got to do it this shit. Hey, mm-hmm. Dan, I served my time. I'm reformed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Now, now, I'm not, now I'm the family member, the older family member that's sitting over in the corner talking about all y'all young folks. Yeah, I remember when we used to do that. Yeah, that no, nah, y'all got it now. Go ahead, Don. Shit. Now you was trying to say something. I said because the craziest part is folks will straight up act like they didn't ask you to do it. Mm-hmm. And you go above and beyond for them, and they get very unappreciative. I don't know how many times they've been looked out for somebody made a play for somebody because I see they needed to play. And, if, and and I've seen it and heard it happen both to me and the other people. And then when you sit there, you're like, well, dang, I was trying to do that for you and so forth and so on. I just need this time for me to sit back this time. All right, well, ain't nobody even asked you to do all that. Uh, yes, you did. Uh, yes, you did. The, the Beyonce Joe, the first time I say no, it's like I never said yes. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> They for, and, here, and they forget how many yeses they got before we got oh, to the no. How soon they forget? Like they need like, you. you ain't never did shit. And then and then a, and then a right throw it in your face. See, that's why I don't even be asking you for well, nigga what. But I that also yes a thousand times. But that also to put a bow on the whole situation. That also goes to if you set a standard, then you got to respect the standard that you set. Yeah. Real if shit. they see that you set Real this shit. standard, but you continue to step over this line, you gonna keep shooting these long twos, or you gonna, you know what I'm saying, you gonna become that was another two. thing I had to realize. I did it to myself. <laughs> yeah, I did it to myself. I did it to myself. I'm not no notice in this conversation for whoever's listening to this that no none of us are blaming anybody for those circumstances. Yeah, did it to myself at all. It was because you put yourself in that spot. Like I said, my uncle, my uncle and my dad passed, and I felt like somebody had to fill that void. I try not to have it always be my mom, so I'm trying to fill that void. However, you put yourself in that situation. You stepped into those shoes, and now you can't complain that you're rocking those Nikes. But you mm-hmm. can, though, mm-hmm. switch it into a pair of the custom hustle, you know what I'm saying, joints available in any color <clears throat> to a 14 men's and women's sizes. If you want to get out of the shoes that you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, I, mean, I know for me, you know, being the oldest, that was the biggest issue for me. It's like, I felt like I had to be the lead, you know, the most responsible, you know, setting the example, picking up the slack where people were lacking. And I'm just like, look, y'all grown now. Get out there and get it done on y'all own. Y'all good. Y'all got it. Y'all have a baby. So that means you're doing real adult shit. Y'all married. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all, y'all got jobs. Y'all, y'all don't need me like I... I, I've, I've done my time. Hey, Leash, the, me- the messed up part about it is I ain't even the oldest and felt like that. That's crazy. That's <laughs> like, crazy. I'm the youngest. Yeah, I'm the oldest. I'm the, I'm the youngest of the grandkids. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm the oldest of everything. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm the youngest of the grandkids. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the oldest sibling and I'm the old, and the grand, out of the grandkids, I'm the oldest boy. So mm, yeah, oh, oh, you, you got it honest then. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> but that's what, and that's on both sides of my family. So if it's my mom's side, it's my pop side. Like it's it's crazy. Like, uh, I was just stuck trying to be the man nobody else had in they in their house, including mine. That that's, that's just as tough. Family. I mean, that's, that's a whole thing. I was the man in my house, so I was trying to be the man in everybody else's home. Yeah. But right. I mean, that's a whole nother even topic discussion and situation right there because you always are the example because you don't know who's paying attention 
Yep. Whether it be yeah. your little cousin, your little brother, or just a little nigga across the street. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but too. before we close this one out, I want to give everybody a chance, you know what I'm saying, to head the floor. Then we're going to have you on in probably like two weeks. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about the whole new platform and all that, but just give yeah. us a about snippet. Be up. Just give us a snippet of what we can expect. Um, Pretty much it's it's a it's a it is a it's a un it's a fu- it's a fucking correct. TV show. There it's we go. Fu- okay. it's, a, it's, a t- uh-huh. it's a it's pretty much it's pretty much a podcast and TV show form. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, it, it's a TV show with an audio experience that you can hear on all streaming platforms. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Think um, and, and and none of and mind you, bridging the gap. That's our normal podcast over 150 episodes in. That's where we were talking about the hot topics, the the day to day shit. The on this on this particular show, you'll be getting none of that. You're gonna be getting straight conversational stuff, um, shit that's coming from our head. We're not gonna be telling you what that Usher and, and fucking Chris Brown was fighting at a roller skating rink last night. You're not gonna get that from us. Um, you know, you're gonna get some uh, some some real raw talk about things that's going on today, things that's just everyday life shit. Um, our family situation, you know, my co-host is my brother-in-law. He's married to my sister, and you know, we 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 clash on a lot of things. You know, he's a a little oh. younger than me. Um, and he wanna you know, be, he, he want to be a little younger <laughs> than you. He's just a little bit younger. You know, he's he's thirty-five. I'm 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 forty. You know what I mean, he always he still, he always say, "I forget we the same age, bro." <laughs> I mean, he he he, hang, he hanging on to. To his, you know what I mean, to to, to the you. young life, you know what I mean. When and I'm more up here trying to do other shit, you know. So we we gonna bring that. And you know, if you watch the podcast, you know what type of energy when me and him get together and some you put some whiskey involved. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be some raw <laughs> shit. A good going time. On. <laughs> and so, yeah. toss, toss the name out there again for the listeners. You know, new listeners every day, B. Unrestricted. Uh, you know, I'm try. I, I keep. Tr- I keep trying to stop saying unrestricted podcast. The show is called Unrestricted. Uh, you know, and you're gonna be able to stream that on. Uh, well, for the meantime, you'll be able to stream it on YouTube. But we're trying to do some other shit that I talk about you off air, where it comes. You know, you're gonna have to. There's gonna be some pay to play type shit. You know, what I'm saying once Copy the numbers that. get right. You know, some small, nothing crazy. You know, but you know, we 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 working some things out. So unrestricted. The uh, the. Un- the unrestricted experience is coming to you very, very soon. If you want to get down on some of our stuff to get the history on us, uh, you know, you can go check us out, BTG Podcast, on all streaming platforms. That's Bridging the Gap, uh, over 100 and some episodes in. Once Unk get back, get, you know, get get himself together, you know, we're going to get back man. to that, oh, too. Man. You know, Unk getting, he getting his hips together, you know what I'm saying? He getting new he getting hips. So, together. you know what I mean? When, 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 when his hips, you know, he, on the joint. hey, listen, I know, right? Unk, 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 hey, listen. Hey, on on out here, he out here, he in the gym every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah, he out here getting busy. He getting he getting ready for I his know. new hips. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, getting that snap yeah. back, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Stella, Stella, so Stella got a groove yeah. back, groove but like back. with a nigga, <laughs> like a nigga version. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he, he, he getting his shit to go. Hips to work. Yeah, so you Let's know. Go. Once right, once now, once what's... he get it, we back at it. My crew from Life Be Life, and I, I asked now about this. I see we went Netflix on them with the last clip that we had dropped. My Spotify had about 27 episodes. <laughs> they all came out together. You know what I'm saying? Is that the new format that we're rolling with with Life Be Life in? You know what I'm saying? I see we have merchandise going on now. Talk to me a little bit about what we expect in here from Life Be Life. What we have coming up next. Say. Man, we only about we only about the increase in the upcoming, man. Um, we we pretty much just trying to, you know get a stacked recording schedule so that we could just make sure that there's no more gaps, no more lapses, despite the fact that life going to be life and despite the fact that our schedules personally sometimes clash and all that kind of stuff. Y'all know how the biz be. Um, mm-hmm. It's trying to make sure that we have the content ready to go so somebody could just stumble into it and never miss a beat because you know how it is. You go for too long, you might lose some people. Um, yeah. yeah. That, you, fall sure, of, you fall out of the rotation. Right. Yeah. So we're trying to keep ourselves presentable and trying to, you know, what I mean, of course, we're trying to put ourselves in position to be on a couple of different platforms besides the, you know, regular streaming platforms. I know that there's different people with their own personal joints that they created. I've been talking to a few people here and there. So, you know, what I mean, 
just trying to make sure, you know what I mean, that we on the up and up and that we keep it clean. We keep it, uh, you know, we keep it thorough for the folks. Yeah, Outside yeah. of that, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, you forgot. Uh, we dropped the shooting guard, AI shooting guard episode. And uh, Saturday. that might spawn us doing a, I guess, yeah, sports-based episode once a month. Once a month. Like, people was loving it. So I was like, all right, we don't always got to talk shit. We can, you know, talk about some other shit. So that might be coming, you know, too. You call that versatility in the business. That's Go ahead. Mm-hmm. That- <laughs> you know, gotta be me, agile in these times. Hit me up when y'all do an NF when the, when the NFL season start. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm, sure. I'm, a, I'm a football ball, so I can get you. You okay. know whatever. You know you. I'm ready. You know if you have say it, no more. I've been there with you. You know what I mean? Say no more, because yeah, we said we're gonna do that once every month. We haven't figured out which week it'll be during the month, but once every month we're gonna do a little life be life in sports. You know what I mean? Talk about you know just kind of have that with the debate floor. For the topic floor to get some things going. I mean, we got we got to respond to the demand. I mean, we got to supply the demand. Got to supply sure. the demand, baby. These yeah. sounds like th- these sound like things that were uh, ran through on the How to Hustle <laughs> seminars, which can still be purchased now. If you slide in my DMs, you can get the whole five pack, or you can get them one at a time, however you want. You want the slow drip, or do you want the whole high? You know what I'm <laughs> Now, mm-hmm. y'all already... Yeah, I, I hashtag hype taught me. Shouts out to my yeah. man now for coming up with the hype taught me hashtag. Uh, y'all know how I feel about y'all. There's no reason to give long speeches and big rundowns because we talk all the time. So I appreciate y'all coming on. That was episode 108. Gang, don't forget. Me. Don't forget. Wait, don't forget. We, we got me, you, and I. We got the Lair recap. The season is oh. over. We, oh. we got to... What's up? Copy that. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need y'all to check into the GFT Radio Network where we will have the exclusive Bel Air recap, the Philly perspective. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. We'll get y'all that one. Y'all appreciate y'all coming on. That was episode 108. We are. I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>